Hello class, welcome back to this series on AP Computer Science Principles. Today we are jumping back into Khan Academy and looking at some of the limitations of storing numbers in binary. Now as always, I strongly recommend that you check out this article that I'm hovering over right now. It has a lot of necessary um, vocabulary that I don't want to have to just sit here and read. So definitely give this a look. And let's go ahead and jump right into the exercise set. Okay, so before we take a look at this, just a quick reminder, all right? An overflow error is when a computer tries to calculate a number whose result is larger than its systems can handle. And when I say its systems, I mean the predetermined number of bits that it has to represent any given number. No computer can make a number that's infinitely large because every computer has its limits. So an overflow error is when you try to make a number that is too big for those limits. A round off error happens because the other side of the decimal goes on for too long and again the computer doesn't have the bits to accommodate it so it's going to have to cut off or round that number at some point leading to some inaccuracies okay couple of pieces of vocabulary you may or may not need an integer is just any whole number positive negative or zero and a rational number is any number that can be represented as the ratio, that's why it's called rational, or the uh, division of two integers. You may also at some point see the phrase floating point representation, which basically just means scientific notation except used by computers to round off very large numbers. So with that in mind, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this problem. A civil engineer is writing code to calculate the center of gravity for a semi-ellipse. Now, we haven't talked about variables or anything like that, but I think, I hope, if you take a glance at the way this is set up, you should be able to tell kind of what's going on here. But let's go ahead and zoom in. And I'm gonna be really, really careful about explaining this as best I can, okay? So the radius. And there's this arrow and 33.27, yeah? So what that's doing is it's taking the radius and setting its value to 33.27. What the first line of this code is doing is it inputs the value 33.27 into the variable called radius. What this second line up here is doing is it's taking that radius and it's, for lack of a better term, doing math to it, yeah? It says that the center of y, the center y, whatever that means, is, again, there's that arrow, so this is a new variable called center y, and its value is going to be set to whatever this turns out to be, whatever the rest of the line turns out to be. And what that's doing is it's taking the radius and multiplying it by four, then it's dividing it by three, and then it's multiplying it by pi. Make sense? It's just a very straightforward mathematical expression. It's taking that radius, which we just set to 33.27, and then applying that math to it. The code relies on the built-in constant pi. After running the code, center y stores the value 14.1202 blah 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 blah. Their colleague checks the result by running the same calculation on their own computer. Their program results in a center Y of 14.12022 blah, 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 blah. The two values are very close, but not quite the same. Which of these is the most likely explanation for the difference? So we're gonna have a multiple choice, but I wanna make sure that we understand the problem first. So. One person's computer says this, the other person's computer says this, they are very slightly different. You would expect two computers running the same program to get the same answer, what gives? Okay. First possibility. One computer used an integer representation for the numbers while the other computer used a more accurate floating point representation. 
this is trying to trick you by throwing a whole bunch of vocabulary at you. Seems to me like it's actually kind of gibberish because if you remember what an integer is, yeah, an integer is a whole number with no fractional or decimal component, right? No component after the decimal point. It is a whole number, positive or negative or zero. Neither of these numbers are integers, so just looking at part A, we can go ahead and eliminate that right away without reading it the rest of the way. Option B says one of the computers has a bug in its mathematical operations. This is another very tempting one because as people in our day-to-day -day lives, if a computer doesn't give us the answer that we expect, we often assume that it's a bug or something like that. More often than not, it isn't. And here on Khan Academy, that is never going to be the right answer. So we're going to skip that. Option C, the two computers executed the arithmetic operations using different order of operations. Now, this also seems like it could be tempting, but in this particular case, it turns out that different order of operations wouldn't change the result at all. Even if it did things in different orders, because this is all just multiplication and division, it would end up being the same either way. You could do four times pi divided by three times the radius. You would still get the same number either way, whatever, whatever order you do the operations in. So that one is also incorrect. So we've eliminated A, B, and C. D, one of the computers experienced an integer overflow error when calculating the result. Again, there's that piece of vocabulary but the overflow error isn't the error we're looking at here, right? This isn't a problem of the number being too big for the computer to handle. This is a problem of two computers getting different levels of accuracy. So it's not an overflow error. Those only happen when you're trying to make a number that's bigger than your computer can handle. So it must be E, but let's go ahead and read it anyway. The two computers represent the constant pi with a different level of precision due to their rounding strategy or size limitations. The two computers might have different numbers of bits that they have available. They might round in different ways. Either way, it would lead to very, very small differences in the results between the two. Okay, consider a computer that uses five bits to represent positive integers and it uses all five bits to represent the value. Again, important to read this stuff carefully because, as I said before, sometimes we might end up with a place where one of the bits is saved for saying positive or negative. In this particular problem, we assume the number's positive and all five bits are just to represent the value. Okay, which of the following operations would result in an integer overflow? So before we even look at the answers, before we even look at the options, a quick review. If you have n number of bits, the absolute largest number that you can make is 2 to the that number, 2 to the n, uh, minus 1. So in this case, we have 5 bits. So our maximum number is 2 to the 5th, which is 32, minus 1, which is 31. Our maximum number that we can make with 5 bits is 31, so any of these answers that lead to a result that's greater than 31 will be eliminated, or will be the correct answers because those will result in an integer overflow. All right, let's take a look. 12 plus two is 14, that's well underneath our limit. Eight plus four is 12, well underneath our limit. 12 times two is 24, still underneath the limit. Ah, but 8 times 4, quick multiplication in the head, is 32. That is too many. 32 is higher than we can represent. 15 plus 1 is 16, that's fine. 18 plus 14 is again 32. Those are the two values that will lead to an integer overflow error. Okay, problem number three. The video sharing site YouTube originally stored the number of video views in a 32-bit signed integer. So let's talk a little bit about what that means. 32 bits means it has 32 bits. I hope that makes sense. Signed means that it can be positive or negative, 
and that the first bit in the string denotes whether it is positive or negative. Now, I don't know why they're using a signed integer system when I don't think views can be negative. You can't unview something, but regardless, that means if one of the bits is being used to denote positive and negative, it means that there are 31 bits left to show the actual value of the number, okay? With that in mind, then the viral hit Gangnam Style, which was very, very popular when I was younger, received more than 2.1 billion views, more than any other video at that time, and YouTube could not display an accurate number of views until they changed their code. What is the best explanation of what happened? Well, I'm hoping that what I just said at the beginning kind of gives you a clue, yeah? The highest number that you can make with 31 bits is gonna be a very high number. It's gonna be two to the 31 and then minus one. Yeah, that's the highest number that you can make, the maximum. My guess is that that number, 2 billion, 147 million, blah, 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 is probably bigger than the highest number they could make with 32 bits one of which is denoting positive or negative. What is two to the 31st power minus one? The answer is 2,147,483,647. Ah, it is exactly that number, in fact. So the moment they went over that very specific number of views, their counter lost the ability to continue counting upward. It probably just froze up. They had to update the system by adding at least one more bit to the numbering system to be able to make a number big enough to handle that particularly viral video. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and take a look at the answers. Integer overflow error, I think that's my guess, but let's look at the other ones anyway. Limited precision of floating point numbers, no. Round off error in floating point arithmetic. No, this is not a rounding error. This is not about tiny differences between two numbers. This is about a number that got so big that the algorithm couldn't handle it anymore. Incorrect use of integer instead of floating point representation. Again, that's just, that's just jargon nonsense trying to get you to click the wrong answer. The correct answer is integer overflow error. The number of views was too high for the counter to keep track of. Okay, last question. Nuru writes this code to calculate the final cost of an item with a discount applied, okay? So again, let's go ahead and jump through the pseudocode really fast to make sure we all understand where we're at. What this is doing is it's setting the price at 0 0.7, which I would guess is 70 cents. The discount is set at 0 0.2, so the final, is the price minus the discount. So we should get 0.7 minus 0.2, which will equal 0.5. They're surprised to see that the final stores the value 0.49999999, many nines, four, instead of 0 0.5. What is the best explanation for that result? Well, let's see. The computer stored the result with a floating point representation instead of an integer representation. Well, that's not true. It might be true. I don't know. But I don't think that would re react this way. B, the result was too large of a number to be stored in floating point representation. Again, this is not a matter of the number being too big, right? The number is 0.5. There's no way that is too big for the computer to handle. Same deal with an integer overflow error occurred. I don't think that's right. This is not that big of a number. Instead, I think that the arithmetic operations on floating point numbers resulted in a round off error. And that's number limits, overflow, and round off. We're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I will do my best to get to all of them. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.